In this video, I'm going to talk about the improvements I've seen with the wireless network performance in my home after deploying the Linksys Velop Mesh wireless network. After setting up the Velop nodes, I wanted to find out if there was actually any improvement to the quality of Wi-Fi reception in my home and that the Velop nodes were providing a benefit in terms of wireless range, signal strength, stability, and bandwidth. Why? Well, there are various expensive routers out there. All of them advertise improved speeds, 4K streaming optimization, online gaming enhancements, on and on and on. Is the Velop system really any different? Is it doing anything that the other expensive routers do not? Would I be better off with my current router and possibly just adding an, an extender if I wanted to extend the range to an area of the home that uh, was essentially a dead zone? Why is this a better solution? Well, these are the questions I asked when I was setting up the system, and I was able to find the answers to them with a few simple tests. So to get started, let's establish a few performance baselines. I want to show the current status of my connection from my laptop to the Velop nodes. To do that, I'm simply going to hold the Option key and click on the Wi-Fi signal at the top of the screen here. This will give you a lot of information. It gives you a list of wireless networks that are available. It gives you information about the interface that your device, in this case my laptop, is using to connect to the Wi-Fi. The important information I want to focus on is in this center section. We see the IP address, the router, whether or not the internet is reachable, the security protocol, and then we see the BSSID. That's the MAC address or the hardware address of the node that my system is attached to. We see the Wi-Fi band that I'm currently uh, connected with. And then we look at the RSSI and noise. So the RSSI is the signal strength. And RSSI stands for Receive Signal Strength Indicator. And in summary, the closer that this number is to zero, the better. So right now we're at a negative 44 decibels, I'm about uh, 10 feet away from my primary node right now. Noise is interference, and in summary, the closer that this number is to negative 120, the better. So right now we're at negative 90. Again, I'm only about 10 feet away from, my, from the primary node, so we don't have a whole lot of interference, and the signal strength seems to be pretty good. Transfer rate right now is about 585 megabits per second. I've seen this get as high as I think 800 and uh, let's just say over 800 megabits per second, which is pretty good for, for wireless. That's actually phenomenal. I don't think I've ever seen uh, a system within my home have a transfer speed that fast. So now that we have those baseline established, let's run a simple test. So I'm on the East Coast and I'm going to run a speed test to basically the middle of the country in the Chicago area. And so we see right now my bandwidth, my download bandwidth is uh, rated about 200 megabits per second. It might peak at around 230, 240, yep, 234. And upload bandwidth, I don't anticipate it getting much higher than 12. But that's basically what I get from my ISP. So... These are our performance baselines. We see our download bandwidth, our upload bandwidth, and then I also showed you um, the signal strength and the interference. So what I want to point out is I've already gone around my house and I've gone to areas that were ordinarily dead zones, such as like my basement or the garage, um, the upstairs, uh, master bedroom area. Those were all areas where you would have a signal on the Wi-Fi without the Velop system when I just had a, a standard standalone router I would always get a signal and presumably the signal quality would be good but throughput would suffer the, the further away from the access point that I, I would go what I've noticed since deploying the Velop system is that these speeds that you see here remain consistent 
throughout the home. When I'm in the basement, when I'm upstairs, I'm in the garage, they may fluctuate a little. But on average, I get about 170 megabits per second um, at the furthest point from any node. So that's phenomenal because in the areas, take the basement for example, I would only get maybe 20 to 30 megabits per second and sometimes that would drop down to 7 or 10 megabits per second. It's just, you know, it would really uh, slow down quite a bit. But since deploying this system, it's consistently fast. Another advantage is that when I move around the home, say like with my phone or even if I'm on my laptop and I'm, I may be streaming a movie or something like that, I do not experience any clips or any drops in connectivity whatsoever. So as it transitions from one node to the next, I have a consistent, fast connection. And that's phenomenal, once again. The next test that I want to demonstrate is a file transfer from one machine on the wireless network to another machine on the wireless network. In this case, we're going to use uh, my laptop and transfer a file that's approximately one gig in size to another machine that's on, uh, con on the wireless network and we'll just see how fast that transfer is. This file is 894 megabytes so just under a gig, about 100 or so megabytes under a gig and let's see how long it takes to transfer that file from this machine click here that is lightning fast that is really fast so in the file transfer test we saw that we were able to transport a 894 megabyte file from one computer to another over the wireless network in approximately 15 to 16 seconds. For my network that's pretty good, that's a significant increase. Ordinarily a file transfer of that size would take uh, the upward part of a minute, somewhere between 45 seconds to one minute. And considering the distance from any of the nodes where the test was performed, uh, that's an outstanding out outcome. In summary, after completing the analysis of my wireless network with developed solution in place, I conclude that the quality of my Wi-Fi experience in my home has improved significantly. My analysis consisted of testing the following areas, range, signal strength, stability, and bandwidth or speed both out to the internet and on the local intranet. The test demonstrated in this video will hopefully give you an idea of what you can expect with developed wireless solution. Thank you for watching this video. I hope the information has been helpful. Be sure to subscribe and come back to see more videos on technology that can improve your home or office.